I'm fishing the Port Hinchinbrook Classic with Ian and Neville Smith from Angus Smith Marine. And today we have a secret weapon on board, Dr Andrew Tobin. Now Andrew is a scientific expert on coral trout and he's also a commercial trout fisher, so he's a dab hand at finding fish. While I'm relying on rod and reel, Andrew's fishing the old fashioned way. He can pull in 40 trout a day on this rig, so I reckon he might have the upper hand. And a little one. A lovely little coral trout for starters. These common coral trout are apex predators on the reef, and they're a prime catch for commercial and recreational fishers. But earlier this year, Cyclone Hamish cut a swathe of destruction right through their home. Big storm to start with, but it also came into the reef, neatly bisected the southern half of the reef. And, um, often cyclones cross east to west, but this one decided to track straight down through the guts of it. Since the cyclone, coral trout catches on the southern reef have dropped dramatically. So Andrew is heading a Fisheries Research and Development Corporation study to find out why. Coral trout are still there, but they're just depressed, their activity is depressed by that fall in water temperature. And that uh, drop in water temperature can hold for about four to six months after these storm events. So the metabolism of those animals slows right down and they're just not interested in interacting with the fishery, not interested in eating a bait. Oh, oh you've caught beautiful red throat. <laughs> exactly what we've a been talking about. Very nice red throat. You can see why they call them red throat. Everything's red, isn't it? While coral trout have gone quiet, Incredible Andrew's work. study shows these red throat emperor are thriving after the cyclone. Good eating fish, that one. Beautiful. They love it. They fire up. They come out of the deeper water, they'll spend more time on the edge of the reefs, and they, their abundance in catches will increase. Come on, trout, do your thing. Here we go, a big patch of fusiliers. Where there's bait, there's bigger predators. Nice, Andrew. Right colour and all, eh? Beautiful. Meanwhile, Andrew's landing another red throat. So the red throat, after a cyclone, these guys come back in huge numbers up over the reef because yep. of the cold water's pushed up. Yep. And these guys don't like the cold water. Yeah, they're still there, but they just go quiet, so okay. yeah, very hard to catch. The drop in coral trout catches could have a big impact on our fisheries. Already, commercial fishing boats have had to move further north to find more trout. 